Most digital photographers have lots of great images that are older, they're noisy, they're too small, and they simply send those images to the dislike folder and they never look at them again. Well, now you can easily salvage those images using On One Photo Raw. In Photo Raw, you can instantly develop your image's tone and color, remove any noise, resize to any dimension, and then export into an array of file types. Let's take a look at Photo Raw in action and I'll show you just how easy it is. If you enjoy the video, hit that like button, and as always, subscribe to our channel for more tip and trick videos. So I'm inside of Photo Raw here and I have the image that I'm looking to revive and revamp and bring to life. And the first thing that I want to do is just take a look at the info pane and show you guys a little bit of the details about the photo. So it was taken in 2007, so relatively older photograph, and it was also a small raw image file. You know, even for a raw image file, 7.5 megabytes is pretty small. So let's go in here, let's remove any of the noise, let's set sort of the basic tone and color for the image, and then let's resize the photograph. So the first thing I'm going to do is just open up my levels tab so I can take a look at the histogram while I'm editing. And then let's head down here to the noise and sharpening pane. And let's choose the handy dandy no noise AI button here. That's going to automatically zoom us into 100%. It's going to remove any of the noise in the image. And it's also going to add in a little bit of sharpening to the photograph. Now, because we're going to use resize AI in a second, I'm actually going to remove this enhanced detail and the sharpening from this noise and sharpening pane. We're actually going to provide that sharpening to the image inside of Resize AI instead. So I'll just ensure that I have all of the noise removed by pulling up on this Illuminate slider to 100. And then to just show you guys the noise that's being removed, let's zoom in to about 400% all the way. And then if I pull this bar to the right and to the left, you can see it's doing a great job of getting rid of all of that noise and ensuring that we have all of those details and textures intact and they're sharp. So let's just apply that. I'll zoom out and let's head into our tone and color paint. Now for this image, it doesn't really need a whole lot, but I think what we could do is just bring back some of that detail in the clouds. To do that, let's just pull back on this exposure slider about a stop and a half or so. And you can see it's bringing back a lot of that nice detail within those clouds and some of that blue color as well. Now, obviously it's a bit underexposed now. So let's head down here to our midtones and our shadows. And let's pull those up a bit to bring back those darker tones Now, one thing I want to do here is I want to increase the contrast just a bit to ensure that the image isn't flat. And I may just pull up on my midtones just a little bit more. And now let's hit the backslash key on our keyboard. We can see the original and the edit. And I'm really liking the cloud detail so far, and I'm liking all of the tonal modifications. One thing I think we should do is just bring up the whites just a hair to ensure we have a little bit of life in the sky and in the water there. Now we can head down here to this color section and let's just modify the saturation to bring back those nice vibrant colors. To do that, I'm going to pull back the saturation all the way and then I'll incrementally pull it up until it gets the perfect sort of saturated color. And I think around 15 or 14 looks really nice. Let's also just add a dab of vibrance to top it off. Now let's head in the effects tab. We'll add one nice stylish filter to sort of bring everything together. And that's going to be the sunshine filter. And with the sunshine filter, I'm going to use this strong preset. And you can see by turning it off and on, it's sort of illuminating the sky back to how it was and we don't really have those details. So let's go into this gear icon here, open up our blending options, 
And I'm going to head down to this highlight slider. And if I pull up on this, this is going to remove the effect of this sunshine from those highlights. So now if I turn this off and on, we still have a lot of that detail in those clouds, but it's not affecting it as much as it did with this highlight slider pulled back. Now let's hit the backslash key on our keyboard. It's looking great so far. Let's just go in here to the filters. Let's add one last filter. Let's use the color enhancer filter and let's go down to our color range. Let's choose blue and let's lower the saturation of the blue just a little bit. That's going to ensure that these mountains aren't fake blue and that this big dark moody cloud up here isn't incredibly saturated as well. So if we turn this off and on, just evens out that blue color that wasn't really there when we took the photograph. So now let's hit the backslash key on the keyboard. I'm really digging it so far. So let's go into resize now and we can use resize AI to enlarge our photograph. With resize AI, I can see that I have an 11 by about seven inch photograph. Let's enlarge that about two times by going into resize two, we'll choose percentage and let's just type in 200%. That's going to resize it by two times. Now we have a 23 by 15 inch photograph. And if we zoom in here, we have a much larger image that we can zoom into, we can see all of the details, and we have no noise in that photograph. Let's add a bit of sharpening now by going into our sharpening pane. Let's enable that. And I think the default sharpening is doing a fine job. Let's just turn that off and on. And there we go. We have some nice detailed sharpness in our image and we've enlarged it to two times while also removing any of the noise in that photograph. Now let's export this photograph really quickly into a DNG so we can maintain that raw tone and color. I'll head down to export and in my export dialog here, I'm going to head over to the export presets section and let's go down to DNG to current folder. I'll just enable this. And what I'm going to do in my naming here is I'm just going to rename this resized so that it's the original resized and we can take off export there. So let's go down and choose export. And if I head back into browse here, I have the original that we were working on and then I have the edit here. And let's grab these two images and I'll head into compare view mode so that we can see them a little bit more detailed. So let's just zoom in here and you can see right out of the gate that this modified one, the one that we exported into a DNG, is looking so much better. We can zoom in and pan around, and that's because we enlarged it. We also don't have any noise in any of the photograph because of no noise AI. And we brought out all of those awesome tones, colors, and details in our image using the develop tab, some effects, and a bit of sharpening and it was all inside one application. I didn't have to bounce around to different programs or different plugins. It was all within one seamless workflow inside of one application, and it was really, really easy to do. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.